So, determine the force in the members DF, DG, and EG of the truss. So, ito yung hinahanap natin. DF, DG, and EG. And then, meron tayong given, given na mismo yung uh, horizontal or vertical ng reaction ng hinge and vertical reaction ng roller. So, ang gagawin na lang natin is to uh, cut this and solve for the members. Ganito yan. So, kinat natin ito and yung uh, DF natin, inassume natin na compression to joint D. Yung DG is tension to joint D and yung EG is compression to joint E. So, dito, gagamit tayo ng method subsection para masolve ito in uh, no waste of time. Para madali natin mahanap yung mga force in each member. So, pag method subsection yung ginagamit natin is mag- uh, eliminate natin yung other section. So, I choose the left side of this truss and itong right side is should, must be eliminated. At hindi sila included sa solution natin. So, now, para ma-identify yung EG natin, so, basically, kailangan natin mag-moment sa D. Kasi, pag mag-moment tayo sa D, yung DF natin and DG is passing through point D. So, pag mag-moment tayo sa D, yung kanilang maging outcome is zero. So, pag maging zero ito, mas madali na sa atin mahanap yung value ng first member EG. So, ganito yan. So, summation moments of D equals zero. Meron tayong force na 1,900. Then, yung uh, distance nyo to point D is 24 times 24. And then, we have 800. So, opposite yung direction. Therefore, minus Yung distance nyo to point D is 12. Then, meron tayong EG. So, yung EG natin is, uh, yung rotation niya is similar to KY. So, kung, count, kung clockwise ito, therefore, clockwise din ito. But ito, counterclockwise. So, meaning, yung EG natin is same sign sa AY. So, positive EG, distance niya na 9. So, ito yung height ng beam natin or truss. 9 equal 0. So, simplify lang natin. So, ito magiging uh, 45,600. Ito magiging 9,600 equals negative EG 9. So, EG natin, ito magiging 3,600. Then, ito magiging negative 9 EG. Divide by negative 9. EG is equals to uh, 4,000 pound negative siya. Kasi divide by negative. Therefore, pag negative siya, yung ating uh, approach is baliktad. So, dito sa figure, yung EG natin is compression, di ba? Meaning, it is not compression at all. But it is tension. So, ito na yung value ng EG natin. So, isulat muna natin yan dito. So, may value na tayo ng EG. So, next, paano natin ma-identify yung DF dito sa uh, truss na ito? So, kung kanina, dito tayo ng moment sa D. So, try natin mag-moment sa G. So, pag mag-moment tayo sa G, therefore, yung EG natin ay now 0. And yung DG is also 0. But, yung DF natin can be solved. So, now, try natin mag-moment sa G. So, kung ito yung uh, point natin. So, we have force na 1,900. Distance niya to point G is 12 plus 12 plus 12, 36. Then we have 800, also minus. Distance niya to point G is 12 plus 12, 24. Then we have 2,000 pound. Distance niya to point G is 12. So yung sign niya is similar sa 800. Minus 2,000 times 12. Then lastly, meron tayo DF. So yung DF natin is... Uh, yung rotation niya is similar sa 800 at 2000. Therefore, minus uh, DF times yung distance niya na 9 equals 0. So, itong 1900 times 636 is 68,400. Then, 800 times 24. Meron tayo 19,200. Then, 2000 times 12, 24,000. Ito, DF 9. Now, simplify natin to lahat. So, magiging uh, 25 200 equals DF 
raised to 9 divide by 10 by 9 df is equals to 2800 pound so positive sya therefore yung assumption natin sa df na compression ay tama sulat natin yun dito katabi ng eg and lastly yung isang um, first member na lang na hinanap natin is yung dg so dito sa dg since naka uh, diagonal yung uh, pwesto nya so, pwede natin yun i-draw in component so ganito yan ito yung at ito so ito ay may ratio na ito ay 9 ito ay 12 therefore yung hypotenuse nya ay 15 so yung x component ng dg natin is dg times 12 over 15 so ito yung uh, sulat na lang natin 12 over 15 equals uh, x component and dg times 9 over 15 ito yung y natin so para may define dg kailangan natin mag moment sa point e or f so mas pinili ko na dito tayo mag moment sa e kasi yung f is outside na yung section or hindi siya belong sa section natin so dito na lang tayo mag moment sa e so summation it's e equal 0 so assuming na yun uh, clockwise ay positive so meron tayong force na so kung mag moment tayo sa e meaning may value yung df itong value ng df ay 2800 and yung rotation nya is counterclockwise therefore minus uh, 28 times yung distance na itong height is 9 and then we have 800 and yung rotation nya is uh, counterclockwise therefore minus 800 times yung distance yung 12 and then we have a 9 rotation ng AY is clockwise, uh, therefore positive 1,9, and yung distance nyo na, 12 plus 12 plus 24, and lastly, meron tayong DG so kung yung X component ng DG is automatic 0, kasi naglalay sya sa point E, so yung DG natin vertical ay may value na so yung rotation nito ay clockwise, meaning positive plus DG yung Y component is 9 over 15 and yung distance niya to point E is 12 times 12 equals 0 so simplify lang natin ito lahat so ito na yung mga sum up natin yung DJ minum ko lang sa equal sign para maging negative and then simplify natin ito so meron tayong positive 10,800 and then ito 7.2 DJ divide natin by 7.2 then DJ is equals to negative 1, 5 so pang negative meaning yung uh, direction ng DJ natin is not attention so it is compression pwede natin ito maririte as 1, 5 D pound compression, so rewrite natin to so ito na yung mga force member na hinanap natin dito sa 